Hi, I'm Dom Pazek, co-founder of IT Pro TV. In this video, I want to give you a demonstration of our Pro Portal. It's an impressive feature found on the IT Pro TV website that allows you to manage your IT training investment in real time. You can add team members, assign courses, even assign individual episodes. And it's all done via a self-service portal that you're able to manage yourself without having to contact tech support or submit an email ticket. Let me show you how it works. When you log into the Pro Portal, you're greeted with our dashboard. It gives you kind of an overview or a snapshot of your account. You can see things like how many licenses you have. I have 50 licenses. I've already assigned out nine. I can see that my renewal is coming up in March. And as I look down a little bit further, I'll see a couple of tabs that let me see additional details on my account. The Teams tab is probably the most important one, though. That's what's up by default. I know I've assigned nine licenses. I can see exactly who I've assigned those to. I see their names and email addresses. And even better, I have the activity button that will show me whether or not they're watching the content. Got to watch content to learn. Here I can actually validate that they're taking advantage of the IT Pro TV subscription. Also, if you've had a team member leave the company, you can deactivate their account. That frees up the license to make it where you can assign it to a new team member. Again, all done in real time, all without contacting tech support. If you want to onboard a new team member, you just come up and punch in their email address, first name and last name, and hit invite. It sends them an email with an onboarding link. They're able to click it and choose their own password, basically setting up their account Again, all in real time, all without involving tech support. Now, some of the other things you can do in the Pro Portal are pretty impressive as well. We have our, our Details tab. This shows which IT Pro TV features are enabled for your account. We have a number of things on the IT Pro TV site, like virtual labs, practice exams, and you'll see each of those show up in here if they're enabled or if they're not. Then we have our Assignments tab. This is one of my favorite features. We have a lot of great courses on IT Pro TV, but Sometimes you might have very specific needs for your organization, specific individual episodes that you want people to watch or combinations of courses. You can actually build your own course right here in our assignments tab and it's pretty easy. For example, maybe I'm onboarding uh, help desk members. So I'm gonna create a help desk training program and this will be what I assign to any new help desk employees that I bring on board. When I choose to create a module, it's gonna ask for a description. I'll just say this is new help desk training. Uh, and, you know, we can set this description to be whatever it is that, that describes what this course is about. As I move forward, it's going to ask me to pick what training goes in there. And remember, I said we can pick content from any course, right? Uh, so we see each of the different vendors that are listed. I'm, I'm just going to stick with maybe CompTIA. So I'll jump over to CompTIA and I'll find A+, right here. I can expand out the episodes for A+, and I can then pick and choose. If I want to add the whole course, I can just by hitting plus. Otherwise, I can add individual episodes. I'll just add a couple here for our example. And again, I'm not limited to one course. I could go and pick other courses, add them in as well. Once I get everything set up, I can move forward and I'll see my overview. It just lets me know, is everything set the way that I want it to be? So I see my new help desk training and I can go in and I can create that module. I also see my totals down here. My total module link for this one is one hour and 31 minutes. That's important because when I assign this out, which we'll see here on the next screen, I see that total module time again, and that helps me understand my learning pace. When I attach this training to somebody, what's the realistic time it's gonna take for them to complete all the training? On this screen, I can pick who I've assigned it to. Maybe I'll assign this one to Angela, and I need to set a due date. So I'm gonna pick a due date. We'll make this due on the 28th. All right, now, how does she know she has an assignment? Well. She sees it when she logs in, but also it sends an email to her. It will notify her and let her know she has a new assignment, which informs her, hey, I need to jump over to the site and start watching this training. And remember, once we assign this, well, I can see that learning pace. My total training here is one hour and 31 minutes. I picked a deadline that's only a week away, so my learning pace is 1.3 hours per week. And that's important. We don't want to give people more training than they can achieve in a reasonable time. Once that's assigned out, I can see that it's done, it's assigned, and now I get the tracking screen. This is really cool because it shows who has been assigned and what their progress is. If I had assigned five or six people, I would see all of them right here in the list and I would know how far along they are. Are they gonna hit their due date or do I need to reach out to them and remind them and say, hey, you know, you gotta get watching, otherwise you're not gonna meet the deadline. It's just another great way to monitor our team and make sure they're actually taking advantage of IT Pro TV. One last feature that I'd like to highlight is that if you go back to our main portal page, you'll see where you can download activity. That allows you to download a CSV that contains all of the activity data that we use to render the reporting right here on the website. 
This is great if you want to integrate the activity data into your own existing workflows. You don't have to change your reporting. You can continue to leverage that and feed our data into it. It's another great feature of the Pro Portal. All right, well, that wraps up our Pro Portal demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully you got an idea of how the Pro Portal can help you take advantage of your IT Pro TV membership. I do want to mention that we are adding new features all the time. We have an amazing roadmap over the next 12 months where features will continue to be added, so definitely check back in for those. And always know you can take advantage of the help documentation that's available up in the top corner. All the new features and, well, all the existing features are documented in there with how to use them. Also, if you need additional assistance or you want to learn more about the Pro Portal, feel free to reach out to our success team. You can shoot an email to success at ITProTV, and they will be more than glad to help. Well, that's it for our Pro Portal. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you online.